Hello. Hi, Mrs. Hughes. Yes. Hey, this is Dave from True Green, and um, I just wanted to let you know, like, I was driving by your house earlier. Uh huh. And I just noticed that your your yard looks really shitty, and I was wondering if you could use our services. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe make your yard not look so shitty. You're saying my yard looks shitty? Yeah, and and we offer services. We offer. Hey, de- don't say that about my yard. Well, no, it's true, ma'am. It's just a. Uh, just a uh, ma'am right there. What? Hey, why'd you hang up on me for, ma'am? I'm, I'm just trying to do a business. B- because you call cl- my yard shitty. It is shitty. And I don't appreciate anybody calling my yard shitty. Ma'am, I'm offering to make your yard not shitty. I don't want I, anybody that would call me and tell me that my yard is shitty. I, I don't want to do business with. No, ma'am, this is what I do for a living. If, if you're ashamed of your shitty yard, then you should let me help you out. Your yard looks like a hobo designed it. Ma'am? You're listening to The Snowplow Show Here on Frank Callmation We'll call landlords and customers Causing massive aggravation No, he's not a hobo, he is your host He drinks for loco with his jelly and listening to the snowplow show this is episode 517 for december 7th 2018 hi everyone i'm brad this one's brought to you by brennan and tokus pocus and xander fett and ds koopa and effin reality thanks you guys for supporting the show over at patreon.com slash phone losers i appreciate all the support it keeps the show going it makes extra shows happen supporters get extra shows every week Except this week, I haven't done one yet. I better hurry up, the week's almost over. By the way, Patreon people, I'm sorry I sent, like, uh, you know, the same post twice, sort of, because even though the post was titled the same, it was actually a different sound file, but they both said Bad Santa on them. So if you didn't hear the episode that happened the other day called Apartment Lawn Care, then you better listen to that. It's on phonelosers.com or just go to the Patreon app or whatever. Maybe I should have resent that because I bet you a bunch of people just deleted it. There's a new episode of the PLA call-in show. That's also on phonelosers.com. We had fun on Wednesday night. We talked to a bunch of people, including Tim from distortedview.com. He has now promised twice that he's going to do some prank calls with me. So there's no way for him to get out of it this time. Me and him have got to get together soon and do some calls. Before we get started today, I got an interesting website comment today, and I'm hoping that the listeners can kind of help out with this, because it seems like a really important question, and it was actually made on NotLA.com, my personal website, the one for Brad's Cactus Shack, in response to a post I made on answering machine hacking, and this guy named Thomas Lav says, hey there, I have a question and I hope you can give me an answer. So here is the example, I had an old telephone with a tape recorder answering machine, One day I got calls. My phone rang, and when I picked up, it just hung up. This happened several times. It seems to me as someone was testing my landline. Testing is in quotes. The next time it rang, I picked up. The line was silent, and after I hung up, I got a message on the answering machine. People smiling. People were smiling on his answering machine, you guys. Could this be done by hacking or a some kind of telephone system glitch? Thanks. And it's from Tomaslav. I don't know exactly how to answer that. I'm hoping one of you listeners has a good answer to that one. You know, my hacking skills only go so far. I'm not sure what would cause people to call up someone's answer machine and leave smiles on it. So if anyone can help this guy figure that out, I'll put a link to the post in the show notes if you want to go directly there and respond to him. But you can also leave comments on this show if you want, or, or just leave a voicemail or whatever. That's good enough. I don't know why I'm putting this on the beginning of the show. This seems more like an end of the show type of thing. But whatever, I didn't have any other announcements today. So that's it. Let's get started with today's show. If your roof has a leak or if your floor has given, our professional workers will come to care of it. If you need a new trap door to your laundry room, we don't have to tell your landlord what we're going to do. We aren't licensed or bonded. We don't deal with permits. Do it, it could be split. We are always discreet with 
a late night installs. Visit Royco in telephone calls. Royco Construction will handle all of your construction and handyman needs, whether it be plumbing, roofing, work around the house, or heck, I'll even come over and mop your floors. Give us a call at 536-7859 for a free estimate. Or come visit us on 8th Street right next to McDaverson's Grocery Store. Mention K-Fall for a $10 discount. Visit Royco in Telephone Falls. Hello? Hello, Robert? Yes. Hey, it's Roy. I'm your neighbor. I live over there on Fairway. Okay. Um, I was just wondering if uh, one of you has maybe found my wallet in your backyard. In my backyard? Yeah. Oh, were you searching for a ball or something? Oh no no I was um, I was out there uh, the other night about three in the morning I was metal detecting. <laughs> where 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 are you? Where, I don't know I don't I'm trying to figure out who you are. <laughs> oh I don't I don't know you or anything I just I'm just a neighbor. But um, you know I lost my wallet and I'm pretty sure. I mean, where do you live? I live over on Fairway. And why do you why do you think it was my my uh, yard that there might be one there? Well, that, that's just the main place I was that night. I was, uh, I had my shovel. I was doing a lot of digging. Out by the golf, on the golf course? No, in your yard, like right by, right around your house. I was in the backyard and then the sides and in the front. I was all over the place, all around your yard, uh, doing metal de- detecting and just digging, digging holes. Do you know which house I live in? Uh, yeah, on, on 30 <laughs> Drive. Yeah. Yep. Yep, I was. When, just, when 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 were you there? Uh, I th- it was two night, like not last night, but the night before. I was there from about I don't know two in the morning till four in the morning. Wow! And I was just walking around, metal detecting and digging holes. Why? Why were you doing that? Uh, you know, sometimes I find cool things. Uh, I I found um, I didn't find anything in your yard. It was pretty much a wasted night, and I lost my wallet. But, you know, sometimes I'll find coins and jewelry. Don't you, wouldn't, you, wouldn't you feel, I mean, how about if, if somebody heard you, wouldn't they feel uncomfortable that you were out in their yard? Oh, n- yeah, that's why I'm pretty quiet. I wear the headphones on the metal detector so it doesn't beep out loud. It just beeps in my ears. Huh. Yep. Well, I, so where are you now? Oh, I'm at home right now. Where are you right now? I'm at home. I'm I'm on Fairway Court. Well, if if you <laughs> if you want to come to where you think you were and want to look at my backyard, and I'll keep <laughs> and, and, and and you can. Hello, I think I'm losing you. Are, are you on a cordless? Hello. Ah. I think he was walking out into the backyard and lost his signal. It's just like when Phyllis walked down the street looking for that water leak or whatever the hell she was doing. Almost lost the signal. Oh well. That's my great idea for today's show. You know, people hate it when you dig holes in their yards. And as we found out a couple weeks ago, people are not crazy about you inviting your metal detecting club to come over to their yard and walk all over the place and dig things up. So instead of asking for permission, I'm just going to say I was already there in the middle of the night. Lost my wallet. Hello? Hello? Patty? It's Patty, yes. Hey, Patty. It's Roy. I'm your neighbor. Okay. And um, I was wondering if you guys may have found my wallet in your backyard. I, I, uh, I lost my wallet. I haven't been outside at all today. I'm wrapping from Christmas packages, and Charlie was playing golf. He wasn't in the backyard at all. You're welcome to come and look around. you have any idea where you might have lost it? Oh, I don't know. I was all over your yard the other night. I came over at 3 or 4 in the morning, and I was in the front yard and then the sides of the yards and, and in the back, mostly in the back. What uh, were you doing in the yard at 3 or 4 in the morning? Oh, I was digging. I was um, using my metal detector and just looking for treasures. So I was I was out there walking around looking for metal didn't and didn't find anything and I don't really believe it. This is a legitimate phone call, so I don't what? think I'm interested in why why would you say it's not legitimate? <laughs> because nobody gets out around here at three or four in the morning in, in other people's yards. <laughs> oh I do. I'm a late night person. 
Okay. Well, please don't be walking around our yard at that time of morning. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I just, uh, I was looking for, for treasure and people get mad at me when they see me out in the daytime in their yards. So I go out at nighttime so they won't bother me. Well, that's not a good thing to do. Okay. I'm busy. Well, Bye. What are you doing? Doesn't think it's legitimate. Whatever. Hello. Hello, Barbara. Yes. Hey, it's Roy. I'm your neighbor. Uh, yes. And I was wondering if maybe you found my wallet in your backyard. Oh my heavens! Were, were you? When were you in the backyard? Uh, two nights ago, about three or four in the morning. I think I left my jacket back there too. I can't find it. I think my wallet was in my jacket. Gee, I haven't been out there. I'll ask my husband. Okay. Um, is this your number that uh, showed up? Yeah. Yep. That's me. Sixty nine. Okay. 69. Can we pull you back? Sure, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was I, just... We didn't find anything, but I'll ask my husband. He may have. Okay? okay, yeah, yeah. It was in my jacket. It's like a light blue jacket with Ninja Turtles on it. And where, and where were you in our backyard? Do you know? Um, yeah, I was, uh, well, I was all over the place. I was walking around with my metal detector at about 2 or 3 in the morning. And I was just, uh, you know, looking for treasure and digging some holes and stuff. That's all. I'll have him. I'll... I'll... I've got this number, and we'll call you back, okay? Okay, yeah. I did the front yard, too, but I don't think I left in the front yard. Huh. Okay. We'll call you back. Okay. Um, uh, where's James at? What's he doing? He's uh, laying down. Well, wait a minute. Let me talk. You can talk to him. Here, oh, okay. Clump, 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 clump. He's wearing flip flops. This is Roy. And he ran our property early in the AN, like four. And he dropped his blue jacket and his wallet. With Ninja Turtles. Hello. Hello, James? Yes. Hey, it's Roy. I guess she told you I, I lost my wallet and my jacket in your backyard. Did you happen to, to find that? Uh, I haven't been in the backyard. When, when were you there? Uh, it was about two nights ago. Uh, it was about two or three in the morning, three or four in the morning, four or five. What were you doing in my backyard at four o'clock in the morning? I was uh, metal detecting. I was treasure hunting. I was walking around with my metal detector and digging holes. Well, I don't like you walking around in my backyard in the middle of the night. Yeah, well, no normally you wouldn't even have even known I was back there. I don't I, care. I don't care whether I would have known it or not known it. No, I do this to all the neighbors' houses. I go from yard to yard. I mar mark them off my map. I'm just looking for treasures. Where you? Where do you live at? Uh, I'm over on Clubhouse Drive. Well, let me go, let me go take a look. Okay. Yeah. I just I, I was just back there digging in your backyard. That's all. It's not a big deal. Yes, it is a big deal. What do you mean? I don't want people in my backyard digging. What the hell are you talking about? I How about if I go in your front yard and dig a hole? Oh, that's fine. If you want to. I'm, I, I'm, yeah, like, are you uh, part of the metal detecting club? Bye. What, Let me go look. Okay, but hey, don't, don't get mad. I mean, I found something in your yard. I dug it up. Oh, he hung up. I need to think of something that I dug up in their yard. Like a duffel bag full of money. Or a duffel bag full of shovels. Like in Wrong Cops. We watched that the other night for movie night. We watched Wrong Cops. The guy digs in his backyard and he finds a bag full of shovels. It was great. Sorry. Spoiler alerts. Hello. Hey, Alan. Yes. Hey, it's Roy, your neighbor. I live over over here on Court. Yeah. And I was wondering if you happened to find my wallet in your backyard. I was back there for a few hours the other day and just uh. What are you doing in my backyard? I was metal detecting. I was walking around with my metal detector uh, about 3 in the morning and digging holes. So, Are you kidding me? Uh, no, no, I wouldn't kid. Um, I, I just wondered if maybe you found it. It's, it's just like a little black wallet. No, we haven't looked, to be honest with you. Okay, all right. What the hell are you doing in my backyard at 3 o'clock in the morning? I was metal detecting. I was treasure hunting. I, I found some things. I, I, you know, I just go around and, and wait till it beeps and I dig a hole and sometimes I find jewelry and coins and stuff. Suppose I and shot you. What's that? Suppose I thought you were robbing the place and shot you. 
Oh no, I wasn't robbing the place. I was just I uh, I was digging stuff underground. Three o'clock in the morning, somebody's in your backyard. You don't think they're delivering Christmas presents? Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. If you shot me, that'd be murder, and you'd you'd go to jail. Right. And what's your last name? Uh, Gerbel. Well, sir, I don't know you, but uh, I haven't really looked in my backyard, so I wouldn't know if it's back there or not. Okay. Well, I'll have to go back there and look around, I guess. I, I wouldn't come back in my yard again, sir. Well, I need my wallet. You can't just steal my wallet. Like, first you want to... That may be, but I would strongly suggest that you not come into my backyard again at 3 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Can you go out back there and check for me? Go see... back there and check for you. Yeah, yeah, to see if you find my wallet. It's a black one. It's got the Power Rangers logo on it. Are you in the phone book? Uh, yeah, yep. Roy. Okay. Spell your last name again. Uh, Z-X-Q-G-D, and then F like Frank. What? It's foreign. Don't don't make fun of me for being a foreigner, okay? No, I'm not making fun of you for being a foreigner, but... Well, I don't know. I you're, you're, you're saying you're going to murder me, and then you say you're going to steal my wallet. I, I don't know with you. I don't know you, and you, well, you're, you're in my backyard in the middle of the night. What would you think if I was in your backyard in the middle of the night? Oh, that'd be okay if you're metal detecting. Are you part of the metal detector club, like me? No, I'm not. Oh, you ought to join up. It's fun. We, we go and I think you're fun. You think what? Oh, I cut him off. I didn't hear what he said. I'll never know. Hey, Mary. Uh, it's Roy. I'm your neighbor. I live over here on Clubhouse Drive. Okay. And I was wondering if you happen to find my my wallet in your backyard and my pants. Your your wallet in my backyard? Yeah, yeah. I think I left it there the other night. Uh, I think I must have dropped it. Um. Were you here? Were you playing golf? Or oh no, no, I was in your backyard. I was, uh, I was metal detecting. I was walking around your backyard with a metal detector, okay. and I was digging holes you... all over your yard. I don't understand. Let me let you talk to my husband. Uh... Neil, pick up the phone. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Bill. Hey. It's Roy. I I'm your neighbor. Yes. And uh, I was just asking Mary if, you, if either of you may have found my wallet. I think I left it in your backyard. Oh. Left your wa wallet in my backyard? Yeah. How did you do I, that? I was back there for a couple, I don't know, two or three, four hours uh, the other night. I, w I was metal detecting. You know, I was just walking around. I was digging a bunch of holes in your yard. Yeah. In, in your backyard and your front yard. But I don't think it happened in the front yard. You were digging holes Whoa. in our yard. Whoa, creeper! Listening. Yeah, I, I had a. It's just like a little shovel, and if I if I find metal, you know, if my metal detector beeps, I dig a hole and try to see what it was. Well, I'm sorry. I don't have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Where Where do you live? Oh, I'm over on Clubhouse Drive. Oh, okay. But I, I'm trying to. Uh, What's your last name? Jerbel. Well, I can't understand why you would dig holes in our yard without consenting with our consent. Well, I was looking for treasure. I found some stuff, too. I found uh, a small case, small metal case filled with things. But, you know, I, I, I dig it in a way that uh, I don't disturb the grass. I just kind of open it up. Yeah, and, but that's and... trespassing. Oh, no, no, it's That's fine. right, but you said you lost your wallet? Yeah, yeah, I can't find my wallet. Oh. Well, I'll look, I didn't, I didn't. I was out back, but I didn't yeah, see anything. Yeah, we were out. We didn't find anything. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I'll look again. It should be easy to spot. There's, it's, it's black, but there's a, a red Power Rangers logo, on, you know, oh, okay. on, on both sides of it. So it should stand out. All right. Well, I'll check. I hope I didn't drop it in the hole that I, that I dug back there, the larger one. Well, I didn't see any holes when when I was pulling out the uh, you know the case full of things. Oh, did Mary right. hang up? Well, I don't know. I'll see what I can see. Okay. All right. Yeah. Just uh, okay, well. you know, call me back if you find anything. 
All right. I, I've got to head over to the uh, the appraiser and uh, get get a estimate on how much all this stuff is worth. Okay. Over at the, right. over at the pawn shop. Yep. Well, good luck. All right. Thanks. I'll check. All right. Thank appreciate you so it. much. I, no, I appreciate it. Bye. Right. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Hang up the phone. <laughs> His wife is hilarious. I don't know if you guys heard her there on the end. Hello? Hi, Eleanor? Yeah. Hey, it's Roy. I'm your neighbor. Um, which side? Uh, well, no, I'm not, like, the, I'm, I'm over on Clubhouse Drive. Um, I just okay. I just wanted to find out if maybe uh, either of you had found my wallet. I think I dropped my wallet in your backyard. When were you here in my backyard? Uh, a couple nights ago. I was out there for three or four hours. Why? Uh, I was just metal detecting. Walking around. In my yard? Yeah, yeah. All over your front yard and your backyard and the side yards. I was metal detecting. And when I'd hear the beep, I would dig holes. Did you hear any beeps? Oh, yeah, lots of them. Well, I haven't seen your wallet, and hmm. I'm not really comfortable with you being in my backyard in the middle of the night digging holes, so please don't do that again. Okay, well, I mean, I, I, I'm done now. I'm doing every house in the neighborhood. I'm just trying to find all the treasures in the entire neighborhood. And I think I found okay. all of them in your yard. What did you say your name was? Uh, Roy. What's your last name? Gerbel. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you did what? I asked you what your name was. I know, I told you. You said your name was Roy. What's your last name? Oh, it's Gerbel. Gerbel? Yep. Gerbel. G-I-R-B-E-L. Okay. But, Goodbye. But like, you're not going to look for my wallet. Did you? Did you? Uh. Hello. Claire. Yeah. Claire, it's Roy. Who is it? It's Roy. I'm your neighbor. I live over on Clubhouse Drive. Oh. Okay. Yep. Hey, I was wondering if um, maybe you found my wallet in your backyard. I, I dropped my wallet the other night. When I was in your backyard. Uh, Roy who? Roy who? Yep, yep. Over here on Clubhouse Drive. No, I'm not. No, I'm on Clubhouse Drive. You're on Drive. Okay. What would you have been doing in my backyard? Uh, I, was, um, I was looking for treasure. I was using my metal detector and walking all over the yard and digging holes. You're kidding. No, Do you no. know where I live? Yeah, over on Drive. Yeah? Yeah. I'm just doing everybody in the neighborhood. I'm, I'm going to every single house in the neighborhood and looking for treasures. Okay. What do you mean by my backyard? My backyard is what other people say is my backyard. Oh, like, yeah, just real close to your house. Like the side yard and the front yard and the backyard. But I think I lost my wallet in the backyard. I got the number. Because... Cause, um, okay, cause let I, me, I, you know, I doubt if it's here. I just had my grass cut today. Okay, because I stepped in dog poop, and that's when I fell down, and I think that's probably when well, I lost Well, there my... would be no dog poop in my yard. We don't have a dog. Uh, yes, there was. It definitely was your yard, because um, I did your yard two nights ago. Okay, well, you should clean up after I'll your dog. look around, but like I said, boy, if I had seen you, I'd have been panicked. Why? If it was in the dark? Yeah, I'm a nice guy and everything. I, I just, I like to... Okay, I'm you a, know, I'm a late, let's end this conversation. Why? Okay? No, I'm a late night person, ma'am. Okay. I'm just... I'll like, look around. Okay, are you gonna call? You. Are you going to call me back or are you going to keep it? Are, are you going to call me back if you find it? Let me tell you, if I find anything, I'll turn it into the POA. Oh, that'd be great. I'd really appreciate it. And I can okay. go there and pick it up. And what's your name again? It, it's Roy. It'll be the only wallet you find. Also, are you going to clean no, up? Are you gonna, Roy who? I know, yes, on Clubhouse Drive. Are you going to clean up after your dog no, better? No, 
You're not giving me any information. I'm giving you none. Thank you. Well, are you going to clean up after your dog? I, I didn't have to give her information. She guessed my last name. Roy who? Hello? Hey, Catherine? Yes? Hey, it's Roy. I'm your neighbor. Hey, I'm your neighbor. Mm-hmm. And uh, I needed to let you know, I was in your backyard the other night, and I stepped in dog poop. Yes. And I don't know, they're brand new Nikes, $80 Nikes. Well, sir, we haven't been there for a month, so well, it's somebody else's dog poop. Well, I know, but you should at least have someone come and clean up your yard while you're gone, because I was, I was in, in the middle of your backyard at 3 in the morning, and I stepped in dog poop. It was a mess. Well, I'm really sorry about that, but it's a shame that... And what condo do you live in? Oh, I'm over on Clubhouse. Oh, I can hear your dog barking. Are you sure it wasn't yours? No. I live in West sure? Virginia, sir. Oh. And what were you doing on our property, which is private, at 3 o'clock in the morning? Oh, I was metal detecting. I was uh, walking around with my metal detector, well, and I was digging holes. That's private... Excuse me. That's private property. You should not have been there. Well, it's okay if I'm a metal detector. Like, we have special rights? No, I don't think so. Oh, no. I know the metal detec detecting laws. Uh, I was just out there digging. Well, that's just totally ridiculous. If I was in, in my condo and I saw a strange man out there with some kind of a weapon, a weapon? in my backyard, I would have called the police. There's no weapon. It's a metal detector. It just beeps when it well, detects metal. Well, stay out of our yard. That's okay. private property. But I, 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 I was just looking for treasure. That's all. Oh, give me a break. What do you mean? We clean up our dog poop when we are there. If some other person, like yourself, with a dog walks in and doesn't clean up, it's not my fault. Okay, I don't have a dog, though. Like, you, you should be mad at the people that are pooping in your, in your yard. Listen, people walk across our property all the time. Well, so why are you I'm mad, then? I'm not a policeman. Why are you mad? Why are you mad? I was just back there digging holes, that's all. You don't need to dig holes in, the, in our yard. It's just little... I'm going to call the president of the Homeowners Association. And what is your name? It was just little holes. What is your name? My name is Peggy. Oh, shit. Give me a... <laughs> what? That's like her catchphrase. Give me a break. Give me a break. Give me a break. Break me off a piece of that. Break me off a piece of that. Break me off a piece of that. Kit Kat bar. Hello? Hey there. It's Roy, your neighbor. Is this Sue? Yes. Hey, Sue. Uh, I was in your uh, backyard the other night for a few hours, and yeah. I think I left my wallet. Well, I haven't seen it. Oh, okay. I was just hoping. Like, you, you, have you been back there? Um, well, no, not really. It's in my pants still. You'd see my, my pile of jeans out there. What is that doing out there? Oh, I just... Who it, is it? It's a long story. This is Roy. I'm your neighbor. I live over on Clubhouse. Oh, I don't believe I know you. Yeah, probably not. I was just... I was out there uh, metal detecting. I was walking around with my metal detector and digging holes. In our backyard? Yeah. Yeah, and the front yard. It's okay. I do all the neighbors. I, I, did, I do one, one or two neighbors per night. And you're the only one I did the uh, other night. I just assumed you didn't do ours. I'd rather not have you in our yard. Oh, no, it's fine. Um, I'm, I'm all finished now. I, I dug my holes all over your yard, and I found a few things, and I'm all done. I'm going to move on to the next people. All right. Good. But still, like, you haven't found my pants. She's not interested in helping me find my pants. Whatever. Hello. Hello, Joseph. Yes. Hey, it's Roy. I'm your neighbor. I live over on Clubhouse. Hi, how are you? Pretty good. Hey, I was, wond good. I was wondering if, um, like, I don't know if you've been in your backyard lately, but uh, I, I left my pants back there. I was over there the other night for about three hours. Uh, in my backyard, you left your pants? Yeah, yeah, it's a long story. I, I was back there metal detecting, though. 
I was, I was, you know, I was oh, just okay. walking around, digging holes all over your backyard and your front yard. Uh huh. In my front yard. Yeah, your front yard. And I hope your, you weren't. What? I hope you weren't digging holes in my front yard. Why not the front yard? <laughs> I have grass in the front yard. Oh yeah, yeah. I was digging holes in the grass. I thought you, I thought you meant you had something buried out there that you didn't want anyone to find, like a bo- <laughs> body or. Okay, once again, who are you? Uh, this is Roy. I live over on Clubhouse. I was just out in your yard the other night, in the middle of the night, digging a bunch of holes in the grass. Okay. All right. And what do you need? Uh, I was just wondering if uh, you happen to have seen my pants. Um, I, I think that I would left those in the backyard. Let me, let me go look. Were you the, inside the fence or outside the fence? Inside the fence. And inside the fence yeah yeah my wallet's in those pants my wallet and my keys i had to climb up on my roof and go in the second story window it sucked in the middle of the night now what uh what gave you the right to come in my property in the middle of the night to dig holes in my yard uh because i was um i was metal detecting i was looking for uh you know underground treasures and stuff i found a few things i found a duffel bag well, I don't have any pants back here. I'm looking now. Oh, weird. Well, who else has been in your yard that would come and steal my pants away? I have no idea. Maybe they're on the side. Hmm. All right. Which which in it's inside the fence area, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely That's inside the about? inside the fence area. Um, I, I, the, the largest hole I dug in your backyard, I don't know if you can see it cause the ground's sunk in a little bit cause I, I removed a very large thing from underneath the yard. Um, I, maybe I dropped my pants in there by accident. All right. I'm outside in my yard right now mm-hmm. and I'm along the side hmm. and I don't see anything. No pants. Nope. Well, this is I'm terrible. I'm going along the back. I'm going along the back. Uh, careful for holes. Like, watch your step, because I, I dug a lot of holes in your yard. I can't, I can't understand. What I can't understand is what gives you the right to dig holes in my backyard. That's what I can't figure out. Oh, I'm a metal detector. What? I was just... I, I was... don't care what you are. But I'm a, it's a hobby of mine. I'm a hobbyist. I, I, I've, well, I know, but dig holes in your own backyard. I already have. I've I've metal detecting. I've metal detected half of the neighborhood, and All I, right. I want to do every house in the entire neighborhood and find. I, I've made a lot of money at this. You wouldn't believe what I found in your yard. Well, let me ask you this question: uh-huh. Have you ever thought of asking permission before you did it? No, because usually when I do, they say no. Ah, uh, I wonder why. I, because people are assholes, you know. <laughs> well, where the assholes lay is a matter of debate. I have no pants in my backyard. I would be more than willing to give it to you if I had it. Hmm. Uh, Are you sure? I haven't you... seen a thing here. Not a thing. Are you sure you didn't find my pants and you just didn't keep the wallet? <laughs> now you're going to accuse me of something. Listen, I'm oh. 76 years old. I've lived my whole life without robbing anybody of anything. Yeah. And I'm not going to start now. Okay. Well, now, if you're calling me just, to get me upset, you've done it. I'm just saying you've I had... You've done to, it I had, one time. One way you've done it is that uh, you dig holes in my backyard, and the next way you've done it is accusing me of taking your wallet. Well, I'm just saying I had $40 in there, so I, I wouldn't I'm blame just, you. I, you know, I don't give a goddamn what you had in it. You go find Why'd somebody else to blame. Well, I don't know. Like, and keep the hell out of my backyard. Oh, I will. I'm done. Because if I catch you out there, I'll call the police. Okay, well, no, I'm done in your backyard. I'm moving on to the neighbor's house next. Well, thank God for that. I, I found everything I needed to find in your backyard. Great. Great. I almost feel like I should nope. give you a cut of, of what I found, but but I'm, you're, you're, you took my wallet, so I don't know. Listen. I'm going to tell you one thing you can take to the bank. I don't have your wallet. I don't care about your wallet. Forty bucks means nothing to me. I don't care nice. about anything you have in your wallet. Your pants are not here. You put them someplace else. Hmm. I don't even know. You know, this is. This I was. Is, I haven't even asked this question. Why the hell did you take your pants off? 
It's a long story. Oh, I don't want to hear it. You don't or you do? All right. You do, you do want to hear What's it? What's your you... last name, Roy? What's your last name? Who? What is your last name? Who? Who? Uh-huh, yep. It's, it's, uh, it's Jewish. Roy who? And by the way, I stepped in dog poop in your backyard. And I, you yes, should... you probably did. I have a dog. I, I know. Why don't you clean up after him? That's gross. All right. This has gone on long enough. Goodbye. Bye. That one was very convenient because that was the very last number on this list. I've been calling from this directory for months now. It looks like Crimson sent me this directory back in March. I don't know when I first started using it. Here, let me see if DocHub gives me a date that I created this document. No, I don't think it does. Or if it does, I don't know how to look at it. Who cares, though? I've been calling this for months now. I'm officially deleting it right now because I have called every single number in this directory. So thank you, Crimson, for the directories. I'm going to delete this email now that says, Brad, you're seriously an awesome guy. Thanks, Crimson. That's so nice of you. Hey, Brad. It's Will here. Um, hey, Will. Don't get mad. I know you've probably been asked this before. All right. But, uh, dude, I can't seem to catch a live prank show. Like, the only shows I, I seem to catch are, like, the, the whatever other shows where you just, like, don't do pranks and you talk to people. Yeah. Which are fun, too. I love those. Oh, no, you can say but it. They're boring. How do I catch I get like, it. What's the best way to catch a live show? Do you tweet it out? Like, yeah. I know you've been asked this before. Like, I mean, you're I probably going to call me a big dummy, whatever, but... Uh, no, I won't I do that. I know, because I want to catch a live prank show. We man. all know you're a big right, dummy. Brad, love you. Bye. What I need to do is write, like, a, a big instructional page... You know, because I have like phonelizards.com slash live, which links to the YouTube pages and the Mixler and the Shoutcast and all that stuff. All the places I might do a live show. I need to put a thing on there that explains to people exactly how to catch live shows. Because I don't make it easy. I know that. But I'd say the best way is to just keep an eye on Twitter. On twitter.com slash phonelizards. Because I almost always announce the live shows on Twitter. The live prank shows. And what you should do is... Spend some time with your Twitter account. Look at the settings and everything. Like on my Twitter, I don't have it alert me like with a, a beep or whatever. I don't have it pop up things on my phone or on my computer because that's annoying if I get notified of every little tweet that comes out. But you can set it up so that you only get beeps from me on Twitter and not anyone else. I think you can, can't you? You used to be able to do that. Maybe I'm full of crap. I should probably look into that just to make sure I'm not giving bad advice. But I think there's a way to do that. So do that. Make it so you actually get an audible beep before my live shows. I try to announce a live show about, I don't know, 20 or 30 minutes before I go on. So that's another way I'm making it not very easy for you to catch me live. The other thing to use would be Mixler. It's M-I-X-L-R dot com or, or just M-I-X-L-R on your app store. Download that app. Sign up for an account. Follow the account called Phone Losers. All one word, just Phone Losers. And make it so MixLR notifies you whenever a new show comes out. That's how I catch most of my shows that I listen to on Mixler, MixLR, whatever it's called. So I think that's the two best ways to be notified of live shows. I know I could make it easier by scheduling live shows, you know, doing like a weekly thing. But fuck that shit. Scheduling's for squares, man. Hey, Brad, it's King Cobra. I was just hey. uh, wondering, since Cold and Mass Confusion is basically officially over, that if there would be anybody else that would be able to like keep the project alive because I know Giad's not doing that anymore. Maybe. So, yeah, that's know. roughly it. So, okay. King Cobra. Oh, roughly it? Or is that it? What do you mean roughly? Me and Carlito, we've talked about doing that ourselves. Maybe not necessarily under the Calls of Mass Confusion name unless Giad wanted us to. But we've talked about it a little bit. Who knows if we'll follow through. Because it's a lot of work. Giad put a lot of work into that whole thing. Recording things in stores and setting up all those Skype appointments to talk to people. It's actually a big pain in the ass to do all that stuff. So I don't know if we'll be that motivated to do it. I tried that in the past. I would have people say that they want me to call their work. And they would shoot video for me of their co-workers freaking out over whatever I did. And I tried a few times, just we never got any really great results out of it. So the possibility's there. I'm sure it'll happen again someday, eventually. But until then, you just have to watch Calls of Mass Confusion repeatedly 
over at youtube.com slash Jesus in a dumb truck. Hey, Brad. Hey. Team Wolf Jesus. Hey, I'm Team fucking, Wolf Jesus. I'm laying here, and like I got, I'm pretty fucking high, you know? That's nice. And I was just thinking when you're one of the hobos, so... You know, the Surgeon General has warned that getting high causes people to let everyone around them know that they're high. You gotta watch out for that. I do, like, I close my fucking eyes, and yeah. like, I, I open, well, I open up my head, and there's a fucking movie theater screen, you know, and then Whoa. I'm sitting down, but in front of me are these three fucking egg-looking people, dude, like, all I can fucking see is the top of their fucking shelves. And it's just white, like, I don't know if they were egg people. Just throwing a rock at them. Or they were just big eggs watching fucking movies. Crack their fucking brains but in. something was in the way. Knock them off that damn wall. Screen when I closed my eyes, and it was three fucking eggs. The biggest egg was in the middle. The smallest egg was to the left. It's not My real, support. Teen Wolf Jesus. And the most medium You're egg just high, that's all. was on the right side. And, like, I didn't know what fucking movie I was trying to watch. Like, from what I remember, it was a black screen. So it was an invisible movie. What a shitty but movie. Three. <laughs> Why were you watching an invisible movie? Harvey CPs. Three. Three fucking egg people. You can get your money back. Two, and you know it. I hope you didn't if pay so for that shit. Everybody else. Dude, I'll get pissed if three fucking egg people were blocking their movie. Yeah. I don't care if the movie's invisible or I'd not. Beat the shit out of them. Anybody's gonna care? I'll take that shit all day. Bye. Me too. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Teen Wolf Jesus, for the voicemail, and thank you, Google Voice, for censoring the word "fucking" about three dozen times out of that voicemail. I wouldn't want to see that word. That would really upset me. I would be triggered. Thank God for Google Voice. Oh my God, Brad Carter. Hey. I used to download your text files. I bet you and did. I built a red box. Whoa. I used to post on alt freaking nerd. Oh my god! Fucking nerd. This is really Brad Carter. Yeah. Twenty you're, years in the making. You're an old oh, nerd. My god! One time. You must be really I old. I caught beige boxing, but it ran away. Just oh, like in that song. My god, Brad Carter. He had to hang up and jizz in his pants. Hi, Brad. I'm just another unfortunate byproduct there in the mixler. Hey there. Uh, quick question for you. Okay. The, uh, obviously, Snowplow Show is fantastic. I listen to it quite a bit. Thank um, you. I do have that, that YouTube crap where I don't have ads or anything. But I guess I also get YouTube you. music. Is that something that you project ever putting some of your shows on? I uh, don't know how YouTube music works. I don't pay for YouTube. I use ad blocker. It's um, cheaper. I believe it's probably going to be less draining on my data and also my battery. Uh, yes. Cater to me, please. Okay. Please. All right. I said please. Okay. And I'm also on Patreon now. Thank you. I don't know. Do they have podcasts or are you talking about like the actual songs that I've done? Because there's only so many of those I can put up due to copyright laws and stuff. But if you want the podcast, just get a podcast app. And that reminds me, somebody let me know today that Pandora has their own podcast section now. So I need to submit my podcast to Pandora. Because people still use Pandora, don't they? I used to use Pandora. So I'll be submitting my shows on there soon. You can also find those on Spotify. If you're a Spotify user, just look in the podcast section and search for Phone Losers or Snowplow Show or whatever. That's it for today's show. Thanks for listening, everybody. And thanks for sponsoring the show, Brennan and Tokus Pocus and Xander Fett and DS Koopa and Effin Reality. If you'd like to support the show and be a sponsor of the show, you can do that at patreon.com slash phone losers. Also, be sure to follow us everywhere, twitter.com slash phone losers, facebook.com slash phone losers. There's a Facebook group. It's facebook.com slash groups slash go away PLA. There's a phone losers subreddit that hardly ever gets used. You should definitely go in there and, you know, post some comments and post things and talk to other people that listen to the show if you're into the whole Reddit thing. And there's a Discord. Scroll down in the show notes. There's a part that says join the community. And in the middle of all those links, you'll see a link to join the PLA Discord. Nobody really complained at me the last time I promoted Discord, so I'm hoping a bunch of people join up this time if I mention it and they annoy the crap out of the regulars. That's always hilarious to watch. I'm always in there. I'm always watching. One of my monitors is pretty much dedicated to watching the Discord 24-7, even if I don't type in there. See you next time, everyone. Give me a break. I sure deserve it. It's time I made it to the top. Give me a break. Oh, give me a break.